I don't Merry Christmas. To save me from tears, I gave it to someone special. You still catch my eyes Tell me very bad Do you recognize me? Oh, well, it really is It doesn't surprise me Hi, and welcome in things that you might not know about Christmas wasn't always blah, 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 blah. Christmas wasn't always on December 25th For starters, all around the world and for many centuries before the arrival of the one named Jesus, the middle winter was already a time of celebration. Birth on the darkest day of... Oh. Early Europeans celebrated light and birth on the darkest day of winter. That... Because of the fact that most of the winter... Because of the fact that most of the winter was beyond them, we all love longer days and more sunlight hours. I miss summer. Then that for many of them, it was the time where most of the cattle was slaughtered, giving them fresh meat. And it was also the time for beer and wine, for most of them, to be finally ready for drinking. Fermentation takes time. Many people rejoice during the winter solstice. Oh, alcohol and food. It does sound like Christmas indeed. While Christmas celebrates the birth of Jesus, in the early years of Christianity, his birth was not celebrated. In fact, the Bible doesn't even mention the date for his birth. Also, some evidence suggests that he might have been born during spring, cause... Well... Cause... Well, shepherds rarely heard in the middle of winter. Anyway, the thing is, church decided to institute the birth of Jesus, and Pope Julius I chose December 25th. But the birthday itself didn't become the official holiday until the 3rd century. Santa, tell me, do you really care? Don't make me fall in love again if you won't be here next year. Santa, tell me, do you really care? Cause I can't give it all away if you won't be here next year. And to absorb the Saturn Leila Sa. Ha! There is a common belief that this date was chosen to absorb the tradition of the Saturnalia festival, celebrated in honor of Tamir. Saturnalia was, in Rome, celebrated in honor of Saturn, the god of agriculture, and it was from the beginning of the week leading to the solstice and for the full months. In addition to the few traditions they had, like switching slave and masters and things like that, <laughs> Don't even think about it. They were also celebrating the birth of Mithra on December 25th. What a coincidence! What a coincidence! How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. With time, the celebration of Christmas, first called the Feast of Nativity, spread almost everywhere. So I can still drink and eat, right? We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. If, like me and many people around the world, you celebrate Christmas with a green tree, wreath, or a green guy... guy Garland, Garland. The long thing that can be fluffy and can do light sometimes. 
used evergreens to mark the sinister sins. You are taking part of a tradition from ancient Egypt, who marked the winter solstice with evergreen as a reminder that spring will return. Those plants and trees that remained green all year had long before the advent of Christianity a special meaning. It was believed that evergreen will keep away witches, demons, ghosts, illness, dementors. You have a doubt about the last one. Uh. In 1846, Prince Albert of Germany introduced a tree to his new wife, Queen Victoria of England. Hi, nice to meet you. Who, unlike the previous people of royalty, was really liked and popular by the people around her, like her subject, the court, everybody. And this popularity led to what was done at court, fashionable. And so the Christmas tree has arrived and was spreading everywhere. By 1890, Christmas ornaments were arriving from Germany, while Christmas tree exploded in popularity in the US. And fun, that was rude. Fun fact: American liked their tree to touch and reach the And fun fact: American liked their tree to reach the ceiling, while European like smaller tree, around 121 centimeters in general. So thanks to German, by the way. Candy canes are also from Germany. Santa tell me if you really kill us for Christmas, there is just one thing I need, and I underneath the Christmas tree. <laughs> Every year, the 6th of December and all around the world, lots of people are celebrating St. Nicholas Day. Image and pictures of him vary, and of course, none of them looks like the red claws and white beard grandpa that we see everywhere, that will arrive much later. There are several legends about St. Nicholas, but we don't know if they are true. Basically, what you have to know, it was a bishop, rich, save people, and give gift. Which also brought the hanging stockings. Long story that I was too lazy to tell. After the pro I'm in an tunnel. But after the Protestant Reformation began in the 50s. Complicated, eh? He fell out of favor in much of Northern Europe and the figure was replaced with threatening psychics. In 1822, Clement Clark Moore wrote a visit from St. Nicholas. And in the late uh, in the late nineteenth century, he added a picture of the Santa in red and white. But his color is not worldwide. Most of the country have their own tradition with own colors, and Santa is not even alone sometimes. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, share, and don't forget, happiness is right under your nose. So smile. And Merry Christmas. Mm. What does it mean? Give you my heart, but the very next day you give it away. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm part of a tradition from ancient Egypt. What was that? Not a sentence, no words. It's time to say goodbye. Over. 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 Over.